Hi, this is Shadi and in this video I'm gonna talk about a man that had laid out the foundations of the judo system out in the west, specifically France and Europe. This man is Mikunsuke Kaweshi. Mikunsuke Kaweshi I had mentioned several times on this channel, specifically his book and illustrations of the leg locks and the neck cranks in judo uh, and we are very fortunate to have his works still there um, because if without them we wouldn't have the knowledge of what kind of techniques judo had uh, especially the stuff that are lost now I'm not sure if in the Kodokan are still uh, teaching these things because now as you know Kodokan is putting out videos of specifically and particularly and I don't think it's a coincidence of the band techniques that are uh, being done or used to be done in Randori so I think it's very interesting what's going on now and even uh, with Inoue and Yamashita talking about restoration of judo etc so I think uh, it's very nice what's going on now but the writings and the illustrations of Kaweshi of leg locks and neck cranks are particularly special because uh, without them they would have been probably lost so this uh, video I'm gonna talk about his life because I just mentioned him on this channel but I believe he deserves his own video so Mikunsuke Kaweshi was born on August 13th 1899 and uh, of course he was Japanese and he led the development of judo in the West uh, particularly France alongside Shozo Awazu and much of Europe and he introduced the colored belt system to differentiate the cues and so how someone is uh, advanced or not when it comes to not being yet a black belt because before it was like Aikido it was either black and white literally uh, for example when I was doing Aikido I wore my black my white belt up until the day I got my black belt so before it was this so now he introduced the colored belt system which is fun I, for kids but for adults I like just Q and done so anyways and also uh, there's also his archives in the London's Budoku Kuei or Budo Kuei I'm sorry uh, which was founded by uh, Gunji Koizumi the one I talked about very recently the man that had a very tragic ending and it was founded in 1918 like I said uh, and they started using the colored belt system in 1926 uh, at the ninth annual of Budo Kuei so uh, his uh, contribution was alongside not only France but also the entirety of Europe and also that's because he worked with Gunji Koizumi that's why uh, they were able to communicate and hence develop Judo in Europe all together and he was awarded the 10th Dan uh, in Judo and Jiu Jitsu after his passing by the French Federation but the Kodokan I believe ranked him only 7th Dan uh, which is uh, which is something that still happens today uh, when it comes to grading in France and in Japan for example Japan if you go you say hey I'm a second Dan in the French from the French Federation they might look at you like maybe you're a brown belt or a first degree black belt so it is a thing that still happens today and uh, also for example when I was doing Aikido I got my black belt from the uh, Hambu Dojo kind of like saying the Kodokan in Judo uh, but if I got it from the French Federation if I go to Japan it would probably be uh, not accredited is that the word for example I knew someone who had his uh, first done in Aikido from France but went to Japan and lived there to work uh, he they made him wear his white belt and he had the second dan exam but in Japan he had to do his first dan exam so it's very important that you go get something that's uh, recognized and see uh, your club which federation they belong to and if that federation is accredited this is something that's very important because you might work years of uh, and probably get the chance to go somewhere else and that effort might not be recognized so please be careful I got my black belt from the Hambu Dojo uh, in Aikido so if I go there I'm a first Dan which is exactly what my rank is but when it comes to the black belt system 
in France in judo. I don't know if I'm gonna do it in France, probably go to Japan, so that's another story for another day. But please be careful when it comes to uh, the federations which your club belong to. So, uh, he was born in Himeji in 1899 uh, in Japan and he studied in Kyoto. He didn't study in the Kodokan, but rather he studied in the Dainippon Butokukai, which is uh, the great association of martial virtue in Japan. Uh, I talked about this one, it was uh, heavily uh, disliked and fell out of favor after World War II uh, because it was supporting the imperial system, etc. So uh, this is where he studied, he, he did not go to the Kodokan. Uh, he left Japan in the mid-1920s, so he was uh, f very young and he traveled to the United States. He was teaching Jiu-Jitsu in New York City and San Diego. By 1928, uh, he left very similar to Gunji Koizumi. They tried the United States. They didn't like it and Then they traveled to the United Kingdom and there he established a school in uh, Liverpool with his close friend uh, Gunji Koizumi so uh, Koizumi was uh, 10 years older than uh, uh, Kaweshi and there he established the Budokue uh, fun fact Budokue uh, after Kosei Inoue's retirement from competitive judo in 2008. In 2009 he left and taught, I believe, maybe one or two years, I'm not sure. He stayed in London and taught in the Budo Kuei. And he had interviews and uh, like a short documentary which was still available on YouTube till this day. So, he taught at the Budo Kuei with Koizumi and also to at Oxford, uh, Oxford University and he moved in 1931 uh, and founded his own London uh, judo club and began teaching judo at Oxford with Koizumi like I mentioned. So uh, with Asia being very, uh, Asian martial arts being very new to England, uh, he was forced to work as a professional wrestler to supplement his living because teaching judo alone was not making a fair enough living. So he wrestled professionally and he took the stage name of Matsuda and in 1931 he returned briefly to Japan and in this trip he uh, met with Kano and also showed him his skills and this is when Jigoro Kano awarded him the third dan Kodokan and in 1935 he got his fourth and moved to Paris uh, immediately afterwards. So uh, this is where he was commissioned to teach Jiu Jitsu to the French police and at this time he opened his first uh, jiu-jitsu school in the Latin Quarter of Paris. So uh, he tried to return to Japan during World War II because of the events obviously uh, but there he was stuck in Manchuria and imprisoned and after the World War II ended he was released which is very ashamed, uh, very unfortunate shaving years of his life just for absolutely nothing. Um, he returned to Paris and continued teaching after his release and in 1947 he joined forces with Koizumi yet again and I talked about this in my Koizumi video to have the first ever recorded judo international tournament uh, between France and the UK it's called the Kaweshi Cup after him and uh, so there uh, the cup it was uh, being awarded only medals uh, by the division winners. So, with Moshe Feldenkrais, which is a uh, Israeli slash uh, Ukrainian uh, athlete and scientist, they founded the French Federation of Judo in 1946 and becoming the technical director for many years. And uh, he stayed in France uh, till the end of his life. And uh, he passed away on January 30th, 1969. Uh, in, and he is still buried till this day uh, in Plessis Robinson. I should probably make a visit and uh, put this on record for you guys, which would be a, a very good uh, project. And also someone that's uh, interested in history, myself. It's fun to have the books, but actually going and visiting him is really paying him honor. So. Like I said, it's very important to uh, see where your federation and your club are credited 
because uh, it might not be recognized once you get like a high degree when it comes to black belts or brown belts or whatever it may be. Uh, he was, like I said, awarded the 10th Dan of Jiu-Jitsu and Judo after his death in France. Uh, that's the thing. Here in France, when you get your black belt, it says Judo and Jiu-Jitsu uh, for, for, I don't know, whatever reason. So it's... Uh, uh, which Koryu, I don't know, but uh, I believe it might be Tenshin Shin Ryu and also Kito Ryu because you do the same katas. But just a side note, in France, when you get your black belt in Judo, it says both uh, Japanese Jiu Jitsu and Judo. So, fun fact. Uh, if you have anything else to add, please uh, let me know down below. This was Shady, and as always, thank you for listening.